Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are Play by Play Gaming. I'm your host, Kay. And the McAdoo. This evening, we have a treat for you. We are going to be doing the Gold Rathian event quest. Before we get going, I'm going to go ahead and show you my armor setup. This is what I'm running right now. Got a health regen augment. And those are the stats. Running full defense, definitely going to get tanked out. Stun resistance, poison resistance, um, not blight resistance, so I will get set on fire. I really don't feel like dealing with that before we get going. I got super recovery and hasten recovery going. Without further ado, let's go ahead and launch into this. I love the rainbow paint. I'm so glad I did all <laughs> the optional quests for that. It's one of my favorite things about my... It's too much work. There's too many, too many quests. I don't want to be carrying that stuff back and forth and getting attacked. I did two of those, and that was good. Yeah, th those are a bit of a, a boon on the whole the whole game. I don't like those at all. Insect glaive tips. Do you write? Some of these are interesting, the tips that pop up here. A lot of them just aren't, though. Ooh, look at there. Most people. Got dropped right in. <clears throat> all righty. Rock steady. And we'll start and just get us a, a bit of a softening. Let's see, you think I'll be able to do this one faster than the Silver Athelos? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'd say since it stays on the ground a little bit more, it should give me a better opportunity to do some damage without being interrupted. Rock so, steady, I really don't have to worry about getting stopped there. So tell me about this monster. What makes him different than the regular Rathian? Um, again, just raw damage. It just hits way harder. Any more special attacks? Uh, it does have the explosive blast. Uh, it, it's it's kind of like what the, the base... Rathian has, except it'll start glowing and kind of power up almost in a way before it does it. And it kind of zooms the camera out too before it does it. It's a bit interesting. This one is really cool looking. Yeah, I do enjoy it. I think they're both very well done though. It's more than more than just a reskin, the, the way they glow when they start getting agitated. I might as well go ahead and soften up a little bit more while we're still rock steady. All in all, though, as long as you can dodge the poison and avoid getting set on fire too much, this one's not too bad. Those little spikes right there are probably the most annoying thing about this little room where you're in right here. Yeah, the Elder's Recess is one of those areas that's like really cool at first, but the design kind of gets old. Yeah. So it, there's not a lot to it, and then, you know, the, the hostile environment. Using the Namiel switch axe. That water element damage. I believe I used the Valkana one for the Silver Athlos. I've got pretty much all the switch axes at this point. Camera gets a little crazy when you get attached to it and it starts doing the, the spins. Nothing like when you get on Rodabon or something, it starts rolling. That one is a little wild. I like Uragon too, the where it gets covered in flames whenever it does its roll now. There goes Papalico coming in clutch with the the buffs. World's gone. Oh, there we go. Here comes the big explosion. All in all, though, th this fight's also similar to the Silver Athlos in the way that it only stays in this area. It doesn't go flying around, doesn't move around. So, some would like the breather in between. Sometimes you gotta sharpen in the middle of the fight, but I like it as opposed to chasing the monster or back and forth across the map to come the big explosion. Not even gonna dodge that one. I feel like they, the monsters gravitate towards this hallway a little too much during this fight. Get you locked in. Like get you into that confined area. Yeah. See, so uh, the Rathian likes to run back and forth a lot. Pull it back out into this area. Run over here, see if I can get a flash pop on it. There we go.
bong. I love that cheer bong, that, that sonic gong right there. That's it. He does it sometimes, and it's it's like yeah, you probably could have avoided doing that, but at the same time, he comes in clutch sometimes and does it right whenever you need it. You were, I think, you were watching the other day when I was trying to do the Master Rank 200 quest, and he did it right when Nergigante was about to dive bomb me. Oh yeah. The uh, the Coral Orchestra is definitely the the uh, to go to pa uh, Palico Gadget. Uh, the Plunder Blade, uh, I've heard, is nice, uh, especially if you're trying to farm parts. But the the orchestra just makes it comes in clutch a lot, and the buffs are super nice. Call Especially me, having a hunting horn. You know, call me greedy, but I like it when other people run the plunder blade, and I can just pick up the spoils. That's fair. Uh, it's hard That's my me. primary experience with the plunder blade. It's hard for me to want to give up to see if I can pull off sharpening here. Nope. <laughs> that, was, that was not a successful sharpening. Yeah, that's probably... Oh! It's definitely get get out of dodge. You saw you saw how the camera zoomed out a little bit, and you always gotta watch out for that. That's when you know you're about to have fun. Oh, swing and a miss. I'm kind of ledged me. Let's see if I can get a uh, a hit and the mount. Oh God bless. The running back. I told you it likes to run back and forth an awful lot. There we go. Yeah, but at least he's on the ground. True. I, you know, as a switch axe user, it is just kind of a pain when they're flying about because you can only do so much to hit them when they're in the air. I mean, you can clutch claw them a lot, but you, you don't really have any eye frames with the switch axe, so you get knocked off a whole bunch when you're trying to do that. There are those spikes, man. I hate those fallen spikes. It's going to be a pain if he falls right here, which he is. I'm staying a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. I'll take the white numbers. I really need to sharpen them. Can he pull it off? Two. Oh. <laughs> so close. Oh. I feel robbed. Come on. Come on. Show me some love. There we go. And I've got the sharp gym running, so I should be able to stay sharp for a little bit longer. Over 200 hours in, and I still say that sharpening is my least favorite mechanic in the entire game. But it might be worse for me because you shouldn't be sharpening a hammer in the first place. Yeah. Uh, like, a hammer is specifically not sharp. I, now, the Runer hammer does have the axe blades on it, and you got to admit the Val one looks like a. Yeah, the, like an the axe, Val so. ham axe. That makes a little more sense. Which is your you know, favorite be, one? Yeah, if it was a non-sharpenable weapon overall as a class, and then a couple of them had exceptions that needed sharpen, that'd be fine, I guess. But like when you're using like the early ones, it's just like yeah, that's a round end that I'm gonna sharpen, sharpen real good. Try to get out of there. It didn't work. Got a little drop. I'm gonna get hit big time. Definitely couldn't get out of dodge. So that's the thing. Sometimes when you're in sword mode with the switch axe, you just you just can't possibly get out of the way. Do that. That way, don't get hit from behind. Oh, jeez. It's coming in aggro now. See how she's starting to glow? It's bad news for me. She's a little bit agitated. There we go, got my rock steady back. Rock steady is a game changer. I can't even remember, you know, back back in the day whenever I first started playing this, I was like, this has got to be the most difficult part of this, is getting knocked over all the time. Temporal is nice too, but anymore, I, the debuff with Iceborne for the Temporal, I think, was a bit, a bit of a... A bit harsh. But yeah, a bit harsh. I mean, that, that was my go-to mantle, and now let's call it, I think the temporary mantle is about the best thing to call it. The nice thing about having health regen on your weapon is switch axe, you can just clutch claw, and then immediately zero sum discharge. 
You don't have to worry about getting knocked off, and you can take the damage too, as long as you're running a high enough defense, have some health boost running, you won't, you won't one shot you or anything. Now, word, word of caution, if you don't have a high defense rating, she can definitely one shot you if you're not running a health boost of some form. This big explosion right there, that, that would just absolutely tank your health. Especially when she's agitated like this and she just hits you over and over. I can see I'm probably not doing very good dodging that tonight. I've been, she, I'd say she's probably got what, like an 80 to 100% hit ratio in this big explosion? I think I've only dodged her once. Oh yeah, she's making a point of setting you on fire, making you regret not setting up that blight resistance. Yeah, I mean, the thing with the fire damage is as long as you have a decent defense, it won't kill you that fast. Decent defense, some health boost. I, I'm, you know, some people don't like playing like that, but I, I like the cushy builds. You know, no way you're doing damage if you're dead. And that's usually just on these tougher monsters. On the weaker monsters, I usually don't run any defense boost because you just don't need it. Or shouldn't need it. I can't say. I'm not here to critique anyone's playstyle, but I usually don't run a defense boost on the weaker monsters. They just don't hit hard enough to warrant the, the use of the space. See, it's nice when you get your your finisher on the mountain, it doesn't cheat you out of it. You can get your zero sum discharge really fast with the switch axe. Dodge that one. Oh, almost got out of the spikes. I hate those spikes. I really don't like the spikes. I'm not a fan of the spikes. Let me pull it back over here. It just rain spikes on you the whole time. Come on. Like I'd rather have to dodge the cactars. <laughs> cactars a bit overpowered. I think I've caught almost every one of them I've seen, just because that's easier than avoiding them. You definitely don't want them hitting. Although it does feel a little weird breaking out the capture net in the middle of a fight. I used to just keep it equipped whenever I was trying to get a bunch of endemic light from my room. out of dodge, literally. Back into blue sharpness. I'm gonna get paid for that one. Yep. That did not go out the way I wanted it to. Um, I might try and eat it. Let's see. Oh, well, that was my one shot of grabbing that. I'm gonna get hit again trying to get over there. Alright, uh, let's see. I think, she, I think she's agitated. Yep, there goes the big explosion. Oh yeah, you're getting yeeted, buddy. Say hello to this wall for me. Down she goes. Oh no. What a terrible time to roar. Let's get my temporal mantle back. That on. It's nice I've already got my charge built up so I can just mount and There we go. What you gonna do about it? Oh yeah, right on your face. I'll blow this up right in your face. I think she's faring a little bit worse than the Silver Athlos, if I'm honest. 
Um, it's hard to say. You're really, really showing her who's boss. She's got a desire to be in the spikes way too much. Come on. Uh oh. Well, I saw that. That switch axe bounce. You should be ashamed. Nah, I don't like bouncing. Uh oh. Oh, you see that? Rolled right through the fire. Yeah, I think my tempo might have saved me a little bit. And of course it's gone. Let's see if I can. She's she's got zero seconds for move reset right now. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see, can he pull off a sharpening? He just carted my cat thing. Confuse it and then we'll get mm -hmm. some sharpening on. Where are you going, Gold? Running back and forth over there? Looks a little bit confused. A little bit. Soften us up the tail. Don't really know if I'm going for the tail of this fight or not. Don't don't really need it, but... Ooh. Now imagine getting poisoned every time it does that, or does a tail swipe, or bites you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Poison resistance is a must on this one. I kind of forget about it on the lower level ones, because they don't poison you enough. That, and they just don't hit that hard. So, when you, in the grand scheme of things, you can kind of, especially when you get health regen on your Master Ring weapons, you can take a lot more damage that way. You can just heal it. Like I said, you know, more difficult monsters, running defense boost, health boost, it's probably a good idea if you like cushy builds, not really certain about your dodging capability. Or they have big AoE attacks like, like this one, or Valhazak or someone where you know you're just not gonna be able to get out of dodge and all. I think we're about due for a yeet. What do you think? Say hello to this wall for me. <laughs> oh yeah, give me that tail. Oh, someone's angry. Came in clutch with that dodge right there. I'll take that affinity boost. One of the things you starve for with the switch axe is a lot of times is affinity. It's very rare to have a high affinity on the switch axe. It's not that bad with hammer. Besides, but I've also gotten lucky with some gems. Swing and a miss. I mm -hmm. didn't know it was a real dramatic miss. Yeah. It was, hey, if you go big or go home. I mean, turn around. Right there. Yeah. Ooh, that tail spin, man. It's brutal. It helps. It helps when you can take the tail off. Oh, nope. <laughs> Remember what I said, zero iframes with the switch axe. That's why I don't really try and clutch Clark too much unless I'm rock steady to run in the temporal because she'll just knock you right off. She also likes to see this is the one thing, like you trade for her being in the air as much, she likes to run back and forth way too much. But, you know it's manageable. Helps when she's not agitated. I don't know what I was trying, what I was going for there. Dodge that one! Ha ha! You saw that. Oh, 
That was a bad move. Drink this green slime. I've always wondered why health potions are green. Is it because your health bar is green? I mean, surely it's, it's basically stuff. like one of those healthy smoothies. It's like a kale drink. Yeah. It's a kale beverage. Restore your health with this yummy I mean, kale. It's, it's, it's just ground up herbs. With enough something else to make it a drink, not a salad. Same thing with the magic potions in a lot of games are blue. What's up with that? There we go. Got the rock steady. Soften the face. I don't know, I'd say this is going to be about the exact same time as the Silver Athlos, maybe even a little bit longer. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Alright, a million dollar question. Did you get any good gems? Giving yourself a thumbs up. Good work, thumbs up. Good job, me. That's I did it. Just a little bit shy of what we did on the Silver, silver Athlos, I'd say. Oh, more or less. Run around. Oh, got some gold wrath material to find. A lot of times I don't take the time to pick this up during the fight. And you can yell at me for it, but you know, I don't get that great of stuff most of the time. Sometimes you get really lucky, other times you get large wyvern tears. Smile. Yeah, that's a little bit messed up. It's a little bit halfway through the hill there. Hmm. Pretty monster though, all in all. Good fight. I like it. It is pretty, but the gold like almost looks like fish scales. Yeah. I mean, it could be scaly. I mean, a lot of dragons are scaly. I mean, yeah, but fishy. Fishy yeah. scaly. Why did your pal go eating a sausage? Where did he get that sausage? Did he, run around, did he run around with like a pocket hot dog? I could. And maybe that's why the monsters are so invested in trying to kill me. They want those sausages. They give, <laughs> the, give Jables there. Alright, let's see what we got. Nothing exciting. Yeah, one gem. Let's see what this rolls up. out to be. Oh, I have like 40 of these now. You can be super healthy. Ooh, Silver Crown Large. So, yeah, that is an uh, exciting one there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming along with, with us on this. Uh, it's been It was a fun fight. It was another successful hunt. Uh, thank you for watching. If you uh, like what you see, leave us a, a comment, a like, or subscribe. We should have some more entertaining stuff coming within the next couple days to a week.